Question number five. What is the relationship between the volume of a prism and a pyramid that have the same dimensions? All right, so we're talking about the relationship of the prism and the pyramid. And I remember when Miss Thornton came and saw us that day, she wrote the words prism and pyramid on the board. And she even drew arrows, okay? Comparing the two. Hmm. What did she say? Oh yeah, we talked about how a pyramid, it takes three of them to make a prism. So pyramid times three gives me a prism. So prism divided by three gives me a pyramid, okay? So my relationship between the volume of a prism and a pyramid is, well, there's two ways to think about it, right? I can write that three pyramids is equal to one prism, okay? Or if I wanted to think about it as one pyramid, okay, three divided by three gives me one. One divided by three, written as a fraction, one divided by three, one third, prism. So my relationship is three pyramids is equal to one prism, or one pyramid is a third of a prism.